So here we're looking at the graphing linear equations, Manju and Khan Academy, and um, in each of these situations they give you an equation and we have to graph it. Well, when you have an equation like this, negative 4x minus 5, this number right here, negative 5, that's your y-intercept. That's where our line should cross the y-axis. So in this one, I'm just going to drag one of the points to the y-intercept, and then I'm going to use my slope to find my next point. My slope is negative 4. That's negative 4 over 1. Negative 4 refers to my change in y, how far up or down I go. So I can think of this as going down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then over 1. It's negative 4 over 1, so it's down 4 over 1. Or it could have gone, in the reverse, it could have gone up 4 and back 1. In other words, up 4 in the y, but in the negative direction on the x. Either the x or the y direction are negative, and the other one is positive. I chose the y direction as negative, so then my x is positive, right? So here, um, I've got my equation, right? By starting my y-intercept and then finding another point using the slope. In these types of equations right here, it's basically the same idea, except I want to isolate x. x is 3, right? Divide both sides by 5, you see x is 3. So we need a line where all the points on the line have an x value of 3. So I'll pick one point here. This is the point 3, 0. x is 3. Pick another point. This point right here, 3, 5, x is 3. Now this vertical line is all of the points where the x values of those points are 3. It goes infinitely up or down, so it's all y values included, all rational y values, right? It's just a vertical line, x, where all the x values are 3. That'll happen any time you just have x equals something, you get a vertical line. When you have an equation in standard form, like this, um, I plug in 0 for x, that'll give my y-intercept. When x is 0, this cancels out. We get negative 12y equals negative 60. Just divide by negative 12, and y equals 5. So if x is 0, this term cancels out, and y must be 5. That's our y-intercept. Then if I plug in y, let's say, equals 6, any, any y value will work here, but our graph is limited. Right? Like I would plug in, ordinarily, I would plug in uh, 0 for y to find the x-intercept, and we get that x equals negative 20. But in fact, this graph is limited. We can't get that. So let's choose 6. If I choose 6 for y, that's 3x minus 72, right? Because 12 times 6 is 72. So solving for x, we add 72 over here, and negative 60 plus 72 is 12. 3x equals 12 and x equals 4. That means when y equals 6, x equals 4 here, right? So in this kind of an equation, <coughs> excuse me, it usually makes sense to plug in 0 for x and y, but if you're cut off on the graph, you can do what we did here and plug in any other number for y that helps you find a point on the visible graph. Thanks.